We've so far been thinking about coordinates. Coordinates, that's like, here's a point, just one. Here's another point, just one, by itself. But sometimes you actually don't just want one point, you want a collection of points, just like how B could be a whole bunch of different places. So instead of representing a point, oops, points are represented with coordinates, We don't use coordinates when we want to represent an entire line. Does anyone know what we actually use? What do we use? Lines. What you want is a connection between a Y and an X. Some kind of combination of values, right? So we use equations to do this. And I hope this is ringing a bell from last year. You know how we've got an x and a y axis? So as an example, e.g., I could say y equals 2x. So this is an equation. It's got x's, it's got y's in it, and I can represent a line with it. Let's represent that line together, just to refresh your memory. If you've got your axes set up, what this means is, this is all the points where the y value is twice as big as the x value. And you can actually think of these points. For example, if the x value were, say, I don't know, 1, what would the y value be? It'd be double that, which is 2. <coughs> Bless you. If the x value were 3, what would the y value be? It would be twice the size, which is 6. What if the x value were 0? Zero? Zero. Well, twice 0 is still 0. Okay? Now, you can keep on doing this forever, but the point is I can draw a line that represents all these together without me constantly writing point after point. I just have to take these guys and plot them onto my axes. Here's 0, 0. Uh, let's make 1, 2 there, and then... Yeah, there we go. So, this line represents the equation, and the equation represents the line. They're kind of like two sides of the same coin. Because this line is this equation, I actually label it as such. I say that line is y equals 2x, or the equation of that line is y equals 2x. Okay? Um, you can put all kinds of equations onto this. So for instance, have a look back to this question we did just now. How would you work out what the equation of this line is? Um, you've noticed some points on there. There's 3, comma 1, there's 7, comma 3. How could you work out a pattern that links them together? Let me help you out. Do you remember I said to you this question here? It doesn't like it if you uh, don't if you just try and put in a formula. It doesn't play well with that, right? Well, you still can. Watch. This line here, what's its gradient again? It's, uh, it's rise over run, which in this particular case is 1 zero. over 2. It's a half, one, right? So the gradient, A, B, is a half, right? But you know what A is. It's 3, comma 1, right? So I can write rise over run like this. It's a half. Uh, the rise is some y value take away 1. Rise there over some x value, take away 3. That's the run. See, I'm comparing y's with y's and x's with x's. What do I do with this? I want to write it. It's a bit of a mess right now. How can I simplify this a little bit? Any suggestions? Hmm. Um, I can cross multiply. You guys have seen that before, right? I can multiply 2, everything by 2. So that leaves me with 2y minus 2 over there. And then I'll multiply everything by x minus 3 as well. That leaves me with that. Now, this is an equation. This equation is this line. Watch. Uh, let me tidy up a teeny little bit. Uh, let's see here. Let's write it as 2y minus x plus 1. Does it check out? Is it the same equation? Do you see I subtracted x from both sides? Subtracted x from both sides, and then what else did I do? I added 3 to both sides, so that's why it's plus 1. Are you okay with that? Now have a look. This equation 
is this line. Uh, 2y minus x plus 1 equals 0. Let me test it. Sarah suggested the point 0.73 is on here. So if x equals 3, let's see what happens when I throw it in. 2y minus 3, that's what you're just suggesting, plus 1 equals 0. Yeah? No? X is actually 7. You guys didn't catch it. I made a mistake, but no one noticed. Okay, it's actually it's 7, right? Do you see it's 7? You were reading a y coordinate rather than an x coordinate. Can you simplify that for me? What happens? What's minus 7 plus 1? It's minus 6, right? <laughs> can you simplify again? What else can I do? <laughs> I'm going to add 6 to both sides. That'll work, right? Yeah. And y equals, well, it had better be, because Sarah told me it was right at the start, and she was right. Okay. So you see, every single point on this line, you can put in uh, x equals 3, and you'll get y equals 0. It's all going to work out. It's all going to come out in the wash. Okay. Um, y equals 1, sorry. That was the original point. So here's my point, that you use coordinates if you want to talk about points. Use equations if you want to talk about lines. You just take your equation, and you just try some values out, and you'll get the set of points on that line.